Kentucky head coach Tyson Helton. Coach will open it up with a statement, and then we'll jump right into questions. Uh, another home game this week that we're very excited about, Houston Christian coming in. Um, you know, good football team, and they've had some good players. I think back in Bailey Zappi and Jarrah Stearns, two elite college football players that came from there. And they got a good staff, and they do a great job. And they had a big win in their opener. So, you know, should be a good game. We got a lot to work for, around this week to, to prepare. Um, you know, looking back on the, the game from, from last week and playing South Florida and seeing the film, really proud of our football team, how they battled, how they overcame adversity. A lot of things we got to correct, though. We can get a lot better, a lot better. We got a lot of tough games ahead of us, including this one coming up, and we need to get a lot better as a football team. With that said, questions. How does that work? Do you guys all get together as a staff and watch film or watch it separately? We do it as a, as a unit, so offensive staff will get together and defensive staff will get together. Uh, I watch all three phases. I grade it and then I meet with the coordinators and we talk about it. Um, you know, I think that's probably the best way to do it just because if you, you get in a room all together, that could take all day to be quite honest with you. So, um, but it, it works pretty well for us. And, and I, you know, I have coordinators that I trust in all three phases, and they do a great job of running their rooms, and they have great staff members, so it seems to work pretty well for us. Did you adopt that, or did you want to always have it? Uh, I've always done it that way. You know, I have saw other people do it that way. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it, um, and that's just the way that I've decided to do it, and it's worked well for us. What was that again, Sadie? Uh, a lot of like drop passes in those days in the, in the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think back, uh, what would we have like two, maybe two or three drop pass. We had a critical drop pass on a third down that, you know, could have kept the drive alive. Um, you know, I just attribute that to probably first game, you know. So you get better from the first game to the second game, they say, so we'll find out. But um, very proud of, of our receiving core. A lot of men stepped up in that game. You know, when Malachi went down, uh, you saw a lot of new faces out there that you haven't seen, and I thought they performed pretty well. Obviously, looking for an update on his, his injury and his stats for this coming week. Uh, he should should be available. Should be available. Um, you know, he's there's no significant injury at all. I think it's more was just bruising, and they wanted to precautionary take x-rays and make sure that he was okay but ju just bruising so we'll, we'll get through today uh, you know and, and we'll, when we get out there tomorrow I'll have a better feel for kind of where Malachi's status is it's just up in the chest area you know just kind of a bruised chest area you know where it, it, it had gave him a hard time breathing you know and and Anytime you take a hit like that, when you extend your arm, especially in the position that he plays, it, it makes it tough. So, again, I think most of that was precautionary more than anything. Uh, we get, luckily we got good depth at receiver, um, and so if Malachi needs. You know, some time during the week to you know to progress and 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 to get better. But you know, we got other guys that can step up. But knowing him, he's a competitor, so he'll want to go to work. And and so I, I think Malachi will will be just fine. You know, uh, Michael Matheson was another guy that you guys were, were counting on winning this year. Obviously, saw him on crunches week one. What's his uh, what's his? Status? It'll be it'll be several weeks before he gets back. Um, you know, that's going to take a little time, but excited to get him back. He will be back for hopefully most of the season. That's more of a week-to-week -week kind of thing, and I think we're kind of, you know, we're probably at the middle of it right now from his recovery standpoint. He just has a hip injury. You know, he strained his hip pretty bad, and, and um, you know, that takes a while, especially in the position that he plays with, you know, he's a very – very strong cutter, you know, he can cut on a dime. And, and so he needs to be 100% healthy with the hip before he gets back out there. Besides the connections to, you know, that Houston Christian with family and Coach Kitley and whatnot, uh, what, what 
Uh, the expectation is to win and nothing more than that. Uh, I expect to get their best shot. I expect to play a good football team. I expect our players to be ready to play. I expect us to have a, a great mentality. Um, you know, our guys like to play the game, you know, and so I think uh, we, we need to show up to the park ready to play and ready to compete against a good football team this week in, in, in Houston Christian. Well, I think, you know, they do a lot of different things offensively. They keep you off balance. They, you know, they have some air raid principles in, in their offense. Um, they, there's a lot of special tricks, plays, you know, and, um, you know, I think the offense coordinator does a good job. They got big receivers to throw the ball to, big strong arm quarterback. Defensively, they mix up the looks, you know, and, and uh, kind of keep you guessing. We got to get, you know, dive more into them today to try to get a, a beat on them. Uh, our offensive staff is, and defensive staff have been working on them since Sunday, but today's a lot of preparation. You know, we're probably halfway through that preparation, so we got a lot of work to do the rest of the day to, to try to figure them out. Tyson, the makeup of your team, the offensive line is so critical, particularly in the pass protection, you run as well. But, you know, what did you see from the film that you might not have seen Saturday? I thought our offensive line did a good job. Uh, South Florida was big physical up front, big and physical. I thought they did a good job with the pass protection piece, gave Bailey good time. Bailey did a good job with, with getting the ball out. You know, he didn't hold on to it. You know, he, he did a great job there. Uh, Bailey, so I said Bailey, Austin. Yeah. He's still on my mind. Um, but Austin did a great job of getting the ball out. And then, um, you know, in the run game, like like to see us run it better. But, you know, we, we fit up well against them. You know, we were, we were, we were doing the right thing sy systematically. We got defeated at times in, in the run game. And so we need to be better in that area. But, again, South Florida was a, was a very, very strong up front. Um, you know, hopefully going into the second game, as far as the run game piece, we can clean some things up there to give our guys a better chance. I think uh, announced attendance was a little, something over 15,000. Um, just want to get your thoughts on, on that opening atmosphere and the, and the crowd. Yeah, I, I really like the crowd. Um, I'll be quite honest with you, I wish it was a bigger crowd, you know. I think Labor Day weekend, you know, played a little bit into it. I think. Um, Maybe Tennessee playing down in Nashville played a little bit into it. You know, who knows? But the crowd that was there was in it. They were fantastic. Uh, our guys were pumped up. They were ecstatic to play in that environment. Uh, hopefully, as we continue to progress um, through the season, uh, it's a regular weekend Saturday game. I would expect us to have a great crowd out there Saturday. Do you think the heat was a factor, too, as well? Uh, it might have been. It might have been. Yeah, yeah, it might have been. That the shaded side seemed to be pretty full. <laughs> yeah. Um, in terms of you know the film that you got in the watch so far, you know, obviously there's a few things that you want to work on throughout the week. But you know, if you could say one thing on both sides of the ball that you that you want to have a main focus on, you know, I'd probably say most head coaches will give you this answer. It's the mental breakdowns. You know, the MAs. Um, all three phases, we had some MAs that, you know, I wish we wouldn't have had. Um, for the most part, did a good job in all three phases, but we got to clean up some missed assignments that, that we had. And, and if we can do those things, we'll, we'll be a lot better football team in week two. Tell us a little bit about this kicker. Delivered. Lucas, uh, really good, really good, strong leg. Uh, you know, has a great look in his eye. He's not, has no fear. Um, I don't know if you all saw, we had our backup long snapper in there, Trey Naughton. He did a great job uh, going in there and, and, and um, snapping and was very, very impressed with, the, with that operation in the first game. So, and that was good to see because in a critical time, that field goal that we made, I think it was around 42 something. Uh, yeah, we, we, needed, we needed that big time and uh, he stepped up the play for sure. They did a great job. Similar to last year, um, a lot of pressure and made some big plays there. Just um, 
kind of get your thoughts on how that, that side of the ball plays? Uh, you know, Coach Summers does a great job uh, and, and did exactly what I, I thought they would. They got after the quarterback. They hit him a ton. Uh, they got the turnovers when they needed them. Uh, huge play down there in the red zone right there late in the fourth. They're driving to go tie it up, and uh, Aaron Key comes away with a huge interception. A lot of that is our guys playing the, the, the scheme that Coach Summers wants to play. We're getting pressure on the quarterback, and, and the quarterback, you know, he gets flustered and throws it to us. And so that's how we're built defensively. Uh, Coach Summers and I have talked. we got to get con continue to get better in the, in the run defense piece of it. Um, again, I'm going to give South Florida a, a lot of credit. Big physical offensive line, uh, you know, tempo offense. They're a shot football team. So, you know, at times we had lighter boxes defensively, so they were able to run it easy, easier. I did think we rallied well and tackled and got it down. Uh, I say all the time I am fine with, with explosive plays. If, if the series ends, with a field goal and not a touchdown, most more often than not, because of our offense, we're gonna we're gonna be fine. We're gonna outscore him. So, so he does a great job of matching the defense with how we play offense. He's trying to get it back to the offense as quickly as possible, and by doing that, he's gonna bring a lot of pressure. He's gonna roll the dice, gonna hit the quarterback, keep people guessing, try to get a lot of three and outs. At times, though, they're going to make their plays. You're going to see explosive runs, explosive passes down the field. Our guys do a great job usually of rallying, then trying to make them kick field goals or they create another turnover and get the ball back to the offense. At least against that team, too, I thought um, your speed on the edge was kind of an advantage for you that, that you guys utilized a lot. Was it just against that particular team, or is that something that you guys are going to be uh, we'll see week to week. I think, again, Coach Summers does a great job at a, of examining the team that we're about to play. He sees what deficiencies they have, how our players are best utilized, uh, how do we keep them off, you know, what they want to do. There's certain things that every offense wants to do. I think he does a good job of taking that away from them and making them do things they don't want to do. Uh, so every week's going to be different for how we utilize guys in the schemes that you see. Anything else for Coach Hill? All right, guys. Thank you.